PG-1004, someone who was briefly a number one player on the leaderboards. After beating Clubstep, he would start remaking it. This is PG Clubstep. Over the years, it's become infamous for being the hardest map pack level. Today, PG is a successful star grinder, being one of the longest lasting players in the top 100, which is what I would have said, but while I was filming this video, he suddenly quit. He complained about a pretty easy level by Codex not only getting featured, but also becoming daily. Now, normally this would be fine, but after this outburst, PG1004 deleted all of his stats and privated all of his YouTube videos. If I got to working on this video just a few weeks earlier, I'd have a download or perhaps a screenshot of his club step replay, but now all I have to go off on is my memory. Technically though, there's one person who posted proof of their completion before PG. On the exact same day club step came out, a creator called Neptune uploaded the completion screen to a forum called GW. Now, whether or not you want to believe him is up to you, because he's a notorious hacker and there's no video proof of him doing this. He'd also go on to cheat his completions of club step v2 and deadly club step, both of which are his remakes. A few months after all this, Robtop unleashed a second demon. This is Theory of Everything 2, and despite its fake blocks, difficult wave parts, and the insane 81% ship, it was completed within a day by Joe2K. He was even nice enough to release a tutorial on how to beat Toe2, so millions could easily replicate his achievement. Okay, but for real, he went on to be a well-known creator, most infamous for creating this hard part in an extreme demon called Phobos. While Joe2K is active to this day, the same can't be said for the player who beat Robtop's final and hardest demon. There are millions who believe that Violin Villain was first to beat Deadlocked, however the true first victor is a strange player and creator by the name of Zobros. By timing this orb click late and holding, he was able to skip the speed portal and make the hardest part of Deadlocked a whole lot easier. After Zobros smoked Deadlocked's entire pack in 30 minutes, Robtop had to update the level to fix everything. Although as you know, this isn't where the story ends with Robtop Demons. He's going to release at least one more demon when update 2.2 comes out. Judging by the trend in the data, it seems inevitable that explorers will be beaten in around 10 minutes at most. But if you want to know more about Zobros and his historic completion of Deadlocked, check out this interesting documentary. This is Area E1. This Geometry Dash level may look normal, but it is hiding many secrets. The creator of Area E1 is known as Tigrisek, someone who has a weird habit of controversially updating his levels. This is a level called For My Girlfriends. As you can tell, it's extremely lovey-dovey with hearts everywhere and a ton of positive messaging. Wow. One issue. Nowadays, all of the hearts have been removed and there are significant changes in every part of this map. After the breakup, Tigrisek included a message calling his relationship cringe and then proceeded to put a stupidly difficult wave challenge at the end to spite anyone who played. Although, what he's most known for is verifying an extreme demon called Phobos using cheats. The community realized he was a fraud, so he had to make Phobos easier. However, even this wasn't enough to stop the backlash, and eventually Phobos would be updated to an essentially empty map. So you may be wondering what this has to do with Area E1. Well, unlike Phobos that only went through two updates, Area E1 is on version 127. What made Tigrisek want to update Area E1 so many times? There's a famous Greek thought experiment known as the Ship of Theseus, a ship that is slowly worn down over many battles. Eventually, over time, all of the wood planks that once made up the original ship are replaced, and there is none of the original ship left. Can you still call this the Ship of Theseus? And why am I talking about this in a Geometry Dash video? Well, it's because after 126 updates, of course Area E1 has gone through many changes. The song has been replaced. Essentially, every part has been replaced or significantly modified at least twice. Seriously, the entire timeline for this is harder to follow than FNAF lore. If you think about it, when Robtop first raided Area E1, there's no way he would have pictured that it would turn into this. It makes you wonder if a level like this should exist. Although, unlike many infamous levels of the past, it's not like this level has a secret way or a hacked verification. It just happens to be a weird landmark in GD that still stands to this day. And honestly, strange levels like this are what makes the vast lands of Geometry Dash so interesting to explore. So, I guess I'll say it. Maybe this GD level should exist. Can I explain Geometry Dash update 2.2 in 2 minutes? Let's find out. Geometry Dash's players have been waiting nearly 6 years for update 2.2 to release. In 2.1's first year, Robtop released 3 videos. This video showcases a new trigger which randomizes what can happen in a level. The second one gives players far more freedom with camera controls to create cinematic zooms and shots. Third video shows that you can make icons move backwards when certain objects are touched. This is Geometry Dash Sub-Zero, released on the 21st of December 2017. It was the fourth app of 4 free Geometry Dash apps which through 3 levels gave 
give people the opportunity to play levels with 2.2 mechanics for the very first time. Then there was nothing for over a year. The community blamed Robtop for not being transparent and slowly the player base started to dwindle. Rob came back showcasing a way to add particles and edit them in GD. He also showcased a new platformer mode which now gave the icon a way to move left and right. Here and there you can notice some things like new monsters that weren't explicitly mentioned. Robtop then showcased a scale trigger and a way to assist creators in Geometry Dash. By 2021 the community had actually developed 2.2 themselves. Blaze created a private server which tested new features and untested things leaked in Geometry Dash's code. Some of these features with a time warp, new icons, song trigger, and the swing copter mode, which was inspired from a custom game mode the community had built years ago. Levels like Fight of Light, Lava Trials, and In the Lab prove what this community is truly capable of. This community was thriving, but everyone was about to be shocked. On the 8th year anniversary of Geometry Dash, Robtop released a sneak peek of the new level, garnering over 10 million views with ease. This video showcases a lot